To set up and accurately level a total station, the first step before you're anywhere near the nail, a good two or three paces away, is to set all the legs to an equal height. As a guide, when the legs are together, they should come to just under your chin. Space the legs out evenly. Check that the head of the tripod is nice and level. And then pick the whole thing up, walk forward a few paces and place it down over the nail. And it's that action of walking up and placing it down that helps to get it in a relatively good starting point. Take a step back and check the positioning by eye. So you're checking that the nail is in line with the centre of the tripod head. So step around and do the same from another side. Now do an extra check by looking down the centre of the fixing. You've got to hold it vertical to make sure that it's in the centre of the circular hole in the top of the tripod head. And if you can see the nail, then stamp the feet of the tripod into the ground. Now make sure that they're pushed right into the ground and that there's no way they could go any further in. Now double check that you're over the nail and that the head of the tripod is level. Now, only when these two conditions are met, do you go ahead and take the total station out of its box and attach it to the tripod head. And you do that just by taking the fixing attached to the tripod head, locating the hole in the base of the total station and just screw it in. You need to only make it hand tight enough so that the total station can't move around. There's no need to use any force. The first thing you need to do once the total station's attached is set the foot screws to their midpoint. So you'll notice on each of the legs, there's a line which marks the midpoint of the foot screw. We're going to set each of the foot screws so the top of the foot screw is touching that line. And that means you've got the maximum travel in each direction, up or down, when you come to adjust the level and the position of the total station. The next stage is to get the total station itself level and centered over the nail. There are two different steps to this stage that you need to just repeat as necessary. So step one is looking through the optical plummet and use the foot screws to bring the black circle onto the nail. You've got two focus adjusters there. The one closest to your eye focuses the black circle and the one furthest away from your eye focuses the object that you're looking at, which in this case is the nail. Step two is to centralize the circular bubble by adjusting the length of the tripod legs. Now it's important that you only use two of the legs and not three. And that's because by using two, you're pivoting about a fixed point. And if you adjust all three, you're actually translating the whole tripod head and taking it further away from the nail. If you flip your hand over so that the lower part of your forefinger and your knuckle is wedged against the top of the inside section and at the same time grip the outside section with the rest of your fingers. When you release the clip, you'll find that you've got a really steady grip on the leg and really good control of the height adjustment. If you want the bubble to come towards that leg, you raise the leg. If you want it to go in the opposite direction, you lower it. Now, it won't always be possible to centralize the bubble with just one of the legs. So more often than not, you'll need to adjust a second leg. And it's a matter of just keeping tweaking both until you're happy that it's central. And you'll notice the adjustment gets small each time. So this is probably the part of the process that takes the most practice. So it's perfectly fine if you need to have a few attempts at it. Once you've reached the stage where the circular bubble is centered and through the optical plummet, it looks like you're about 10 or 20 millimeters away from the nail in position, you can just unscrew the total station at its base and slide it over while you're looking through the optical plummet till it's centered over the nail. So you're over the nail and the circular bubble is centered. When these two conditions are met, that's when you can move on to accurately level the total station, which is the next stage using the long bubble. Now this long bubble is like a spirit level. It only reads in one direction at a time. It's not like the circular bubble which goes in all directions. So we have to effectively isolate the direction that it's reading in. So to do this we're going to have to set the bubble in four different positions. So position one is parallel to two of the foot screws. You're going to call these two foot screws at the starting position A and B. You can choose any two foot screws as your starting position. 
position and you'll call them A and B. So to isolate the direction of movement, you're going to turn the foot screws in opposite directions at exactly the same rate as each other. So turn them inwards together or outwards together at exactly the same speed. You mustn't turn one faster than the other. You mustn't turn them both in the same direction. Otherwise, it will be tilting the instrument back and forth in the perpendicular direction and it won't register on the bubble. The bubble will move in the direction of your left thumb, so if you want it to move to the left, rotate your thumbs outwards, and if you want it to move to the right, rotate them inwards. And it's extremely sensitive, it's as if you almost just have to think the direction that you want it to go in. It takes a few seconds for the bubble to settle, so allow for that. So position 2, rotate the total station clockwise through 90 degrees, so that the bubble is now perpendicular to the line which goes through foot screws A and B. This time, use the foot screw you haven't used yet and call that C. So again, the bubble will move in the direction of your left thumb. So to move it to the left, turn it clockwise and to move it right, anti-clockwise. And again, give it a few seconds to settle. Third position, rotate another 90 degrees. So this time the bubble's parallel to A and B again, but on the opposite side of the base. Standing with the bubble in front of you, you're going to reach round and again adjust A and B. And again, they must be in the same speed and in opposite directions. And this time you'd expect the bubble only needs a very small adjustment. You're then going to turn another 90 degrees into the fourth position. And in this position, it's just foot screw C that you use to centralise the bubble. So finally, you're going to come back to the starting position. Check that the bubble is still central, which it is. And do a final check through the optical plummet that it hasn't moved off the nail. And that's how to centre and level the total station over a nail.